front of the vessel and off to the right, this is your North American kayaker. They come in many different shapes. Some are native. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyrus Travels, and we're here at Silver Springs State Park. It's one of the newest state parks in the Florida area. We're just outside of Ocala, and we're going to take the glass boat ride. So come out along with us. This is where you get your tickets. Commission is $13 including the glass boat ride, $2 just to go into the park. This is Florida's newest state park, but one of the oldest attractions in Florida with the glass boat ride. It was originally a, state, a park that was owned by a privately owned park with other amusements. At one point it was owned by ABC television and a lot of TVs and movies were filmed here throughout the years. And we're going to take a ride on the glass bottom boat. <laughs> Alright folks, I'd like to welcome you all aboard the world famous glass bottom boat here at Silver Springs. My name is Captain Rob and I'll be your guide for the next half hour or so. We are aboard a Coast Guard licensed and inspected vessel today, therefore I am obligated to inform you that your life jackets are stowed conveniently above your head. We have adult life jackets in the middle, children in the front and rear. In over a hundred years of operating the glass bottom boats here at Silver Springs, we've never had to use any life jackets, so I don't think we're going to need them today. All you've got to worry about is enjoying the ride. Feel free to ask any questions. What's your name? My name is Robbie. We're going to head about 75 yards down the river before we make it to the first spring. At that time, we'll get the bubbles off the glass and get started with the tour. I'd like to welcome you once again to the world famous glass bottom boat here at Silver Springs. This little crack on the bottom of the river coming into view. We've got the Spring of Stars. The Spring of Stars was named after all the many movie stars, many movies that were filmed here at Silver Springs. For those of you who have ever seen or heard of the movie The Creature from the Black Lagoon, this next spring we call the Creature Spring. Back in 1953, this is where Gilman made his home. They used two different actors to film Gilman. One was a six and a half foot tall gentleman to give Gilman a more menacing appearance on land. The other was a guy who could hold his breath for a really long time. That's where we got the scenes from right down here in the Creature Spring. Wow. The next spring coming into view under the vessel we call the Abyss. For the record book, the Abyss is 81 feet deep. The only other reason it's 81 feet deep is because that is as far as anyone has ever made it down into the abyss. Not too long ago, we had a little tiny scoop it out lady come and try to tell us how deep the abyss is. At 81 feet, her air tank would not fit any further. Wow. So she came back upstairs and proceeded to drop a mile's worth of weighted line down into the abyss, which never touched the bottom. So we don't know exactly how deep the abyss is. Rumor has it, and I was not here to see this, so I can't back this one up. But they say when she pulled that line out of the abyss, there was a note attached. <laughs> oh, and it was written in Chinese. <laughs> so maybe that will help you to wrap your mind around how deep it can be. Looks like we got an alligator hanging out on the bank over here. Oh, yeah. Wild alligator here in Florida will really only eat about once or twice a month. 
Yeah. They spend most of their time doing what this one's doing, and that's trying to regulate its body temperature. A wild alligator will grow about a foot every year. Once they get to about nine or ten feet long, nine or ten years old, they'll stop getting longer, but they will continue to get much bigger around. Oh, like gator bites. <laughs> <laughs> Now the fun part about the spring of life is this long rock formation that's coming into view under the vessel right here. For a long time here at Silver Springs, we thought this was a set of dinosaur bones. So we had some scientists come to town from the University of Florida to explain that this is just lime rock like everything else. But while they were in town, they had the forethought to do something this long strip of wood that has always lain right next to the non-dinosaur bones. <laughs> that turned out to be the remains of a 700-year-old canoe that was built by the Timaquan Indians that lived along the river. The Timaquan built these canoes out of a cypress tree, which they call the Eternal Wood. As long as you keep cypress wet, it will be preserved for many years, making it a very convenient material to make a boat out of. Now my favorite part about the spring of life is I cannot help but think of all the many years worth of trips that they brought people to this very spot. I'm talking about this is dinosaur bones, y'all. <laughs> that was back when Silver Springs was privately owned. It used to be an amusement park, the very first amusement park in the state of Florida. When I showed up about two years ago from South Florida, some of the senior captains who had been here for 40, 50, some 60 years. They told me that back in those days they would just make up whatever they wanted from trip to trip and as long as you were amused, everyone was happy. Since then we've been acquired by the state of Florida, we're now a state park. The glass bottom boat is the only thing that is left from the old Silver Springs amusement park. We boat captains are privately contracted to operate them and have been encouraged to stick to the facts. <laughs> One up in the tree with its wing spread is called an anhinga. They submarine out to the bottom to catch fish. The flip side of that coin is when they're done catching fish, they actually have to spread their wings to dry out before they can fly again. It always looks like they're lying about the size of fish they caught. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a couple little fish coming to take the glass ceiling to where they're going to snap your picture and show their buddies. There you go. Now we're right there. His name's Paul. He's a tour guide. He's here every day. Coming in a few underneath the vessel here in a few yards to be a full cypress tree that fell hundreds of years ago. Since it is a cypress, it has been submerged ever since it fell. It's perfectly preserved. You can take this tree out of the water today and cut it into perfectly usable lumber. Underneath this cypress tree, there's an old Spanish explorer's rowboat that was left here back in the 14 or 1500s. Back when the Spanish were exploring central Florida, they would use these rowboats to paddle up the inland waterways to avoid having to hike through the swamp. It was left here around the same period of time that the Spanish gave Florida its name, which means the land of flowers. My take is the tree fell on the boat, but that's just me. <laughs> So we got a lot of nice ground here to walk on. Mm-hmm. You can bring your dog. Yeah, I see a few dogs. Yeah, you just can't bring your dog on the 
uh, last spot on boat tour, but you can come in here and we need dog. But it's two dollars just to come into the park per person. I don't think there's a charge for the dog. No, I don't think so. And it was eleven dollars to do the glass bottom boat. And that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Moving right along into the main spring. This is the very beginning of the Silver River. I'm trying to get some of these bubbles off the glass real quick so we can see the main spring. For those of you who are having a wonderful time aboard the glass bottom boat tour, we've got a few more things to see. For those of you who are sick of listening to me talk, we are almost done. <laughs> the main spring is 65 feet wide. It's about 35 feet deep. The water comes out of this tremendous cave at about 5 miles an hour, giving our river a 5 mile an hour current. The average temperature of the underground aquifer here in Florida is 72 degrees, which keeps the river at 72 degrees all year long. Back in the 1970s, the ABC Wide World of Sports held the high dive competition here in the main spring. Back in 1976, the world record of 148 feet was broken right here at Silver Springs. On a good day when we're putting out 500 million gallons of fresh water every 24 hours, this one spring is responsible for 200 million of those gallons. Now you might ask yourself, well, we can't harness all of this perfectly good, fresh drinking water before it makes it to the Atlantic. The simple answer is Florida is relatively flat. We're only about 80 feet above sea level here in the middle of the state. We are surrounded by the ocean, so we absolutely have to have enough fresh water flowing out of all the springs and rivers to keep the salt water from flowing back in. If salt water ever made it into the aquifer, there would be no more fresh water for central or southern Florida. Half of the bottled water companies in the country would go out of business, and there would be no more Florida oranges for orange juice in the entire world. This is the this is the spring or cave that has been explored the most. They actually found a uh, woolly mammoth skeleton here in the main spring. Uh, that's where it got its name, the the, the mammoth spring. Um, the skeleton actually had knife marks on the bones, which proved that human beings and the woolly mammoth existed in Florida during the same period of time, which is a biggie for the prehistoric history buffs. Silver Springs is the world's largest artesian spring, artesian meaning natural, flowing out into the ocean. The world's very first underwater camera took its first pictures here at Silver Springs. Silver Springs at one point in history was the most photographed place on the entire planet. Moving around right along to the west edge of the main spring, we're going to come across some movie stars that were left down here by Hollywood. There used to be 12 of these guys down here. When Hollywood left, they took nine, but left these three to make sure we had something to look at in the glass bottom boat. These guys were put down here to look like the lost city of Atlantis to film the TV show Sea Hunt with Lloyd Bridges. Since then, I Spy with Bill Cosby was filmed here. Several underwater scenes for the James Bond movies. Smokey and the Bandit 3 did a boat chase scene through here, but I doubt anybody saw that one. All of the old black and white Tarzan movies with Johnny Wise Miller. They were filmed here at Silver Springs. As we get tied up to the dock, you could use this time to collect your personal items like your camera, cell phone, purses, husbands, children, sunglasses, and sunscreen. Take all of that with you. If you do happen to leave anything aboard the vessel that you will then be rid of and you would like it back, check Craigslist. For those of you who had a wonderful time on the glass bottom boat and have positive things to say to your friends, family, and social media, my name once again is Captain Rob. For those of you who did not have such a great time and don't have anything nice to say, my name is Captain Tim. <laughs> Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video of Silver Springs uh, State Park. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And then if you do, make sure you hit that bell so you get notification of future videos. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.